Hi, this is Josh Olson. You're watching Trailers from Hell, and we're going to take a trip down to the bayou. But just be warned, not everyone will be coming back. This is Walter Hill's Southern Comfort. Walter Hill made Southern Comfort in 1981, close to the tail end of a six-movie run that is one of the great all-time hot streaks in the history of film, I think. Hard Times, The Driver, The Warriors, The Long Riders, Southern Comfort, 48 Hours. And right before that, he'd written both Hickey and Boggs and The Getaway. It's a streak of tough guy cinema that stands virtually unparalleled. Southern Comfort tells the story of a group of National Guardsmen doing maneuvers in the Louisiana Bayou, who fall afoul of some Cajuns, do very wrong by them, and then spend the rest of the movie paying for their sins. And just to raise the stakes, their guns carry only blanks. The Cajuns have no such limitations. It was compared a lot to Deliverance when it came out, and it holds up to that comparison. The two make a great and terrifying double feature. You'll never leave home again. Seen by many as an allegory for Vietnam, uh, it, it probably was. Uh, Hill has remained mum on the subject, but sure, why not? That's not really the important part uh, of this film, though. Um, it's got an amazing cast. Uh, Keith Carradine is, as always, terrific. But it's most noted for giving uh, breakthrough parts to two relatively unknown actors at the time, Powers Booth and Fred Ward. Booth had just played Jim Jones in a terrific TV miniseries, but hadn't done a lot before that. Uh, and he carries the film with Keith Carradine. He does an exceptional job. Uh, he's a terrific screen presence. And Fred Ward plays a very bad member of the group, and Hill takes full advantage of his dark, brooding intensity. Fred Ward is genuinely scary in this movie, and it's no wonder he went on to an amazing career after this. He's absolutely one of my favorite actors. I can watch him in anything. The film also marks the second collaboration between Hill and his composer, Ry Cooter, the legendary guitar player. Cooter's moody score enhances the tension and mood beautifully. His use of a Japanese flute at the center of the score was kind of brilliant. It should fly in the face of the movie's backwoods Cajun sound, but instead it fits in beautifully. Mm -hmm. 